Engine vibration testing can be performed using the Honeywell VXP system. The Honeywell VXP system can be used to gather data and perform tests on various types of engines. For engine vibration testing, VXP is the approved replacement for all obsolete or no longer supported testing equipment. In this video, we'll show you how to perform an engine vibration test using the Honeywell VXP system. The VXP system works by gathering data from vibration sensors mounted in three locations on the engine. This data is sent to an acquisition unit which contains software designed to analyze and interpret the vibration data. The data is then displayed on a laptop for review and analysis by a technician. To perform the test, you'll need a Honeywell VXP system with engine-specific accessories. You'll also need the engine maintenance manual. The maintenance manual contains a data sheet that you'll need to refer to during the test. We'll also discuss how to review the test data and what to do in the event of a failed test. The VXP system can be used to gather data from various engines. In this video, we'll be working with a Honeywell T53 engine. For other engines, you'll need the appropriate software and accessories. When you purchase the VXP system and engine-specific accessories, you'll be mailed a kit that contains the Acquisition Unit, or AU, a Panasonic Toughbook laptop that comes pre-installed with the software you'll need, the vibration sensors, and cables and brackets you'll need to connect the sensors to the Acquisition Unit. The VXP analyzes engine vibrations by collecting vibration data from three vibration pickups, or sensors, installed on the engine. The location of the sensors is very important. Refer to the maintenance manual and T53 application help for the proper installation locations. Once the sensors are installed, connect and route the cables from the sensors to the AU. When routing the cables, be careful not to bend the cables or route them through a location that could get excessively hot. Connect the cables to the ports on the AU. Turn on the Panasonic Toughbook. The VXP program will launch automatically. Select Connect to AU. Verify the software in the AU. You should be running the T53 version of the software. This can be verified in the upper left of the screen. If the correct software is not installed, refer to the help file for instructions on installing the software appropriate to your engine. Set your aircraft ID. We recommend using the aircraft tail number or engine serial number. This will create a folder with the name you specified on the computer. Any downloaded test data will be saved in this folder. After setting the ID, download and clear all logs on the AU. Before performing any tests, go to Setup and Utilities. Under Version Information, verify that the application part number is the latest version. If you have any questions about this, contact your distributor or Honeywell Aerospace Technical Support. From the Select Procedure screen, select T53 Engine Vibration Test. Refer to the datasheet from the Engine Maintenance Manual and operate the engine at the specified N1 and N2 speeds. Once the engine is stabilized for at least 30 seconds at the specified speed, click on Start to gather the vibration data from the sensors. Data from the three sensors will be displayed simultaneously. As long as the readings don't go into the red, the test is successful. Once the data is recorded, click on Stop. You'll now have the opportunity to save the data to the laptop. When saving the file, we recommend adding the power setting to the file name. Repeat the test for each power setting specified in the Engine Maintenance Manual datasheet. The higher power settings will require the aircraft to be in hover or forward flight. As long as the recorded data is less than the established limits, the engine has passed the vibration test. For each power setting, record the data displayed on the VXP DU. 
This data can also be saved and accessed later using the VXP display system. If any vibration reading exceeds the engine operating limits, this operational point must be repeated while using the diagnostic section. If any part of the vibration test fails, we can further investigate the test data to see if we can determine the cause of the problem. For example, further investigation may help us determine if it's an issue caused by the engine or airframe. To do this, we'll collect the raw spectral data from the test. This enables us to hone in on specific peaks in the vibration data collected from the sensors. From the Select Procedure screen, go to Vibration Signatures, Engine N1SIGs, operate the engine at the specified power settings, and collect the data. At this point, the data is collected in the AU, but we need to save it to our computer. Click on Download in the left panel. It will be defaulted for the files and folder, so just click Save. Verify the location and click OK. Once the files are saved to your hard drive, you'll be given the opportunity to clear the logs on the AU. If you'd like to leave them on the AU, select Cancel. Once we're done collecting all the raw spectral data, we can then email the saved files to Honeywell Engineering for a resolution. Once the vibration test is complete, wait till the engine is cool before removing the test equipment and sensors. Click on Disconnect before physically disconnecting any sensors. The downloaded test files are stored in the C drive under the Chadwick folder in the Aircraft ID folder. Any spectral logs are also saved to the same location. The Honeywell VXP display program is a fast and efficient way of performing engine vibration tests, saving you time and money. For questions or concerns with the VXP program, contact your VXP distributor.